Hello and welcome to Utalk. I'm Kyle and this is... And I am Brian Blessed! <laughs> uh, yeah, we had to have something for the bloopers. Do yes, you want to take yes, that from the top? Sure, sure. Um, so yeah, that, that being said, uh, I forgot everything I was going to say now. Uh, take it from yes, the top, this is the we Utalk got this. Show. Yeah, this is the You Talk Show. Hi, I'm Kyle. This is Horst, and uh, well, basically, uh, we we are putting on this this wonderful show for you. And uh, yeah, so I'm a uh, uh, I, my background is in interactive and educational digital media, and uh, I've studied economic history and a few other things. And Horst, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? My background is in engineering and fine arts, which also requires a lot of history because context is everything. I'm also further studying law, which I've always been passionate about, because uh, it turns out that if you want to fix the world, you have to understand why it is so broken. And there are a lot of very, very thick books covering that in great detail. Yes, that is that is one thing that we can be thankful for. And so uh, let's get straight into it. What are we trying to to achieve with this show? Uh, Horst, go. Okay. So you may have noticed that the quality of political discourse, not only in this country, but worldwide, is at a confounding trough. We do not have discussions about ideas anymore. We have discussions about tribes, identities, who is voting for who, who isn't voting for who, why, and the sins of their fathers that happened some 40 years back, which for some reason we will never forgive. That isn't helpful to anyone. This is yeah. Australia. We developed Wi-Fi. We got the damn thing to market. Surely... Surely we can pull ourselves back from the brink of meaninglessness. Yes, and on that, you know, it's it's one thing that uh, I think right off the bat, perhaps we'll do a whole video on this, is that one thing we really need to, that people really need to understand is that politics isn't, you know, is, is it, it isn't an abstract battle of ideas, but rather a, it's rather the process by which the distribution of power, wealth, and resources is decided. You know, not a, not a lot of people really focus on the ideas surrounding that, surrounding how we should distribute power, wealth, and resources. There and was so a chap that... on the internet who remarked back in 2010 or so, I don't remember his name and I can't find the quote, but the exact wording was, we must learn to do politics or else we merely have politics done to us. Good quote. Good quote. And uh, yeah, so, you know, we, we want to we wanna promote better political discussion, provide context for, for political issues, and, uh, and really talk about some new and interesting ideas for, you know, that distribution of wealth, resources, and, and power. You know, how can we also we use want to talk about some very to... old ideas. Yes, very old ideas as well, but all of them to do with, you know, how best to use our resources to um, to better our society and to, and to advance Australia. <laughs> the first thing I thought of, that's Australia, Australia <laughs> I couldn't even finish the sentence once so it popped into my head. Enjoy strains, now let us sing. Advance Australia Fair. Hey, if the politics thing doesn't work out, you've got a decent chop as a baritone. Really? <laughs> what, you think I can sing? I thought I was... I think you just did. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was just messing around. Maybe I'll consider that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just write a musical and be the main character. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. You'll get it eventually. Um, but okay, yeah, you're not like... ready for that, but your kids are going to love it. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, okay. my how list you... of little note cards here says, how will we do this? 
Yes, how will we do? Uh, okay, so I'm... Look, I, I, I tend to put forward ideas a lot. I really tend... I, I just love discussing, you know, the ideas for what we could do. I did, like, very concrete um, ideas for what we could do in a very practical way. Um, and you know what I just realized we forgot to do, which is very, which would have been very practical, is actually talk about the you and you talk show. Um, let's just not for that for now. Let's let's get through not, the rest of yet. this because, well, here's the thing. I think we're going to come back around to it anyway in a moment. Probably, probably. Um, all right. So yeah, so I'll I'll put forward a lot of ideas, um, and I expect Force will play uh, devil's advocate for quite a lot. And uh, sometimes yeah, he's very, yeah. Well, you're very good at picking up hard ideas. Which, well, I'm going to do is... it right now. I've, I've listened to a lot of your ideas over the years, Kyle, and you are the, the furthest thing from practical sometimes. And that's where this comes oh. in. Kyle here, ladies, gentlemen, and small furry creatures from Alpha Centauri is what we refer to as an ideas man and a hype man. He is excellent at figuring out what will make the world better. He is excellent at explaining to other people why it will make the world better. And what I'm here to do is to try and help figure out how to make the world better. All of this engineering, all of this legal context, all of the expensive lessons of history. If we bring them to bear now, we might actually have a shot at making the world better. And that does actually bring us to the you in you talk. Do yes. you want to take this, Kyle, or shall I? Uh, you know what? I'll I'll take it, but feel free to jump in whenever. So sure the thing. U stands for utilitarianism. So what is utilitarianism? You might have heard about that uh, that one thought experiment about the the you know, the trolley problem where there's two you know, where there's a train car and you pull a lever. That's not utilitarianism. That's a thought experiment. What utilitarian... What... I'm getting it. Now I'm getting tongue twisted. <laughs> First time for everything. So uh, what utilitarianism is, is it's a very simple moral philosophy that has one principle. And that is that an action is most right when it does the greatest amount of good possible for the greatest number of people possible. And that's it. Now, we refer to this mathematically because we have to contaminate our moral philosophy with mathematics. Otherwise, it isn't philosophy anymore as the utility function. We can see, for instance, just to pick a relatively uncontroversial example, um, that holding back women who make up roughly half of the world's population from doing productive jobs, uh, being employed in science, tech, engineering, or anything really, means we're wasting half the potential of the human race. Mm. If we and also going the opposite way is doing the same thing. And also mm. to go the opposite way to do the same thing. You know, essentially... But let's go with the historic example for a moment. Sure. Because this kind of is it. We remove barriers to entry for women to make meaningful contributions to the world or tireless drudgery as it sometimes is we have just brought half of the world back on side i mentioned earlier tribalism as a force polluting politics and there's one of the earliest examples the oldest war the first war the battle of the sexes I know it isn't very uh, modern to think of it in such terms, but it is the oldest division in society. And in gradually dismantling it, we allow ourselves to move forward together. We have a maximal utility function by integrating humanity towards common goal. I think Kyle's oh, gotten slightly yeah. starstruck. Love. Do I need to get you some roses and a bottle of wine? <laughs> Ooh, now you're talking. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, I guess, I don't know, just seeing that, I don't know, food for thought. 
I guess I am slightly starstruck. I'm starstruck <laughs> with the ideas of bettering humanity and how we've done it before and we can do it again. The trolley problem, to go back to it, is limited because it's designed to force you into what many people would think an impossible position. Stand by, watch people die. Intervene, be directly responsible for death. Those are the options mm. presented. We give no thought whatsoever to other well-established arts, such as derailing the damn train. Have we considered pulling out a knife and untying someone from the tracks before we pull the lever? There or are plenty the of ways. There are plenty of ways to solve this problem that don't result in either being morally culpable for multiple deaths or being directly responsible for one. Mm. And that's why and that the, is the, the trolley of problem. utilitarianism. Yeah, and that's why the trolley problem is just so options. unapplicable because you can't really apply it to real life. You know, it's it because there are there are always infinite options, only limited by the imagination. And in a way, that's that's what we want to bring in the U Talk Show is we want to bring new options for how to push Australia forward. 